We're getting new insight into the brain fog felt by so many COVID long haulers. A new study finds people who recover from COVID can have the kind of cognitive declines you'd find in someone who had a stroke. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on the question, can COVID affect your intelligence? The study looked at tens of thousands of people who took the Great British Intelligence Test. It's designed to measure problem solving, reasoning, and memory. Indicate the smallest number of moves needed. Four, five, six. Yes! And they found that even people who recovered from a mild case of COVID scored below average for their age and education level. And those who recovered from a really serious case had the equivalent of a seven point drop in IQ. The study out of the UK found people had measurable drops in thinking skills up to nine months after their infection. Neurologist Dr. Jennifer Graves is also researching long haulers at UC San Diego. We do know that there are other viruses that can trigger neurologic complications, but this is quite striking. She says the UK findings are in line with other studies that have found cognitive changes in up to 30% of COVID patients after a hospital stay and up to 80% after a trip to the ICU. But even though this latest research involved a so-called intelligence test, Dr. Navaz Karanjia says, don't be fooled. Intelligence usually refers to uh, what people think of one's innate ability to think think and it's a permanent thing. It's also a very culturally biased and loaded term. So I would not refer to what this study has found as a change in people's intelligence at all. She says the findings have to do with long haulers ability to focus, multitask and remember not really their permanent IQ. The authors found people with some kind of mild COVID symptoms had a small but measurable drop in score. Those who were hospitalized or put on a ventilator had a much bigger drop, bigger than people who previously had a stroke. But Dr. Karangia says that's not quite a fair comparison. A stroke is an entirely different phenomenon. It causes part of the brain to actually die, right? And the way that we recover is by growing new connections very slowly. Um, and because we don't know whether the causes of these changes after COVID is biological or psychological, it is way too early to compare it to stroke. It could be much more reversible. It could be com it could completely improve over time. Doctors at UCSD are still trying to figure out exactly how COVID affects the brain, whether the virus attacks brain cells directly or causes chain reactions that affect oxygen levels or some combination. But it's something they're studying right now. The good news is we've been tracking these patients for many months now, and the majority of patients, even if they worsen for a few weeks after their COVID infection, do tend to get better after after three to six months period of time. But a small number of people still have symptoms beyond that. She says once they pinpoint the mechanisms, they can come up with better treatments. But how COVID affects the brain is something they plan to study for the next 10 years. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Other studies have compared COVID's impact on brain function to early Alzheimer's or dementia. Experts say it's yet another reason to get vaccinated.